The symptoms of the patient will then really depend on what kind of problem they have. Right? If it's a functional problem, then they have symptoms related to either too much or too little thyroid hormone. Right? In thyrotoxicosis, where you have too much thyroid hormone, what you have is um, the patients will feel very anxious, they will be heat intolerant, meaning they feel hot all the time when everyone is not feeling hot. Right? They, feel, they will feel uh, like they have tremors in their hands, their heart will beat very fast, they will lose weight and uh, they may even have uh, changes in menses for the ladies. Right? For hypothyroidism on the other hand, right, what you have is the exact opposite of these. You may feel cold intolerant, meaning you feel cold when everyone else is feeling alright. And you can also have changes like gaining weight. You can have uh, you know, what we describe as a coarse facies, where the skin of the face becomes thicker. You may lose some hair. You may lose some uh, the, the outer edges of the eyebrows. Right? and there may also be increase in lenses. So those are functional symptoms, symptoms of functional thyroid problems. Now if you have, instead of that, the other class of problems where you have nodules, right, they, may, they are often actually asymptomatic. So patients won't know they have nodules until someone tells them or they feel their own neck and they feel a lump. And typically to distinguish a thyroid nodule from a normal neck lump, what you do is just swallow, right? and because it's actually attached to the windpipe, when the, when the thyroid moves up and down as you swallow, you will feel the lump moving up and down. So that's how to find out whether you have a thyroid nodule or not. So if you do have that, it needs to be evaluated as well. So of course, in a, in a more severe case, for example, in thyroid cancers, you can potentially have a hoarseness of voice because of invasion of the thyroid cancer into the nerve that supplies the vocal cord. So you may have a paralyzed vocal cord on one side, therefore a horse voice.